Good morning, viewers. Happy New Week. Let us pray. Lord, thank you for the privilege we have to connect with you, to meet with you like we usually do every Monday on this segment. We appreciate you for your love and kindness that is better than life. I want to thank you because always you have a good plan and a good agenda concerning us. Baptize us again with the spirit of prayer, Lord, at this time on this broadcast, and help us to walk worthy of you unto all pleasing, seeing as you see and hearing as you hear. The glory and the honor remain yours. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. It's our week of walking with the Lord. It's our season of walking with the Lord. And this year, it's my prayer and my desire that all of us will walk with the Lord. When we walk with the Lord, we're suggesting that we are in a relationship, a practical relationship with the Lord. We are friends with Him. We're intimate with Him. We're, we're enjoying the richness and the sweetness of fellowship with Him. You know, Jesus said, I have not called you servants, I've called you friends. So the disciples to Jesus were friends, and by extension, that relationship was extended to us as well. So friends of God, friends of God. Father Abraham, remember, was called a friend of God. As we walk with God, and as we walk with the Lord, we're cementing the bonds of friendship. Amen. Okay, let's begin to read a few scriptures so that we can start praying. Genesis chapter 5 and verse 22. And Enoch walked with God after he begat Methuselah. 300 years and begat sons and daughters. So Enoch walked with God, a man walking with God. Uh, the same Genesis chapter 5 and verse 24 in the Amplified Classic. And Enoch walked in habitual fellowship with God and he was not, for God took him home with him. Mm, that's instructive. God took him home with him. So he didn't just vanish. The Lord took him home with him. So he went to be with the Lord. Genesis chapter 6 and verse 9. These are the generations of Noah. Noah was a just man and perfect in his generations and Noah walked with God. So the reason why he was a perf perfect man, the reason why he was perfect in his generations and he was a just man was because he was walking with the Lord. So that changed everything about him. Amen. Psalm 128 verse 1, Blessed is everyone that feareth the Lord that walketh in his ways. We can walk in his ways and when we walk in his ways, we are blessed. Isaiah 40 and 31, But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. As we walk with the Lord, our strength will be renewed daily in the name of Jesus. And 2 Corinthians 5 and verse 7 says, For we walk by faith, not by sight. Now, it's our year of new beginnings. It takes walking with the Lord to experience new beginnings because with Him, newness abounds. He is he, the, the source of newness. He's the wellspring of newness. Intimacy with Him is a guarantee of new beginnings. Let us pray. Can we give thanks unto the Lord because He's our Father? Father, we give you thanks because in You we have a Father. We are Your children. We are the sheep of Your pasture. You are the Lord, our God, and our solid rock. We exalt You in Jesus' name. Can we appreciate Him for His grace and for His mercies that we are beneficiaries of? Lord, we want to thank You for Your grace and for Your mercies that we are beneficiaries of. We return the praise and glory and honor to your name in the name of Jesus. Let's give him thanks for the privilege of sonship and access. Lord, we want to thank you for the privileges of sonship and the privileges of, of access to your presence. We are grateful because we are sons and we have access to you. We give you praise and glory in the name of Jesus. Can we appreciate the Lord for elevating us to the point of making us co-heirs, joint heirs with Christ his son. Lord, we want to thank you for the divine position that we occupy in you. You've made us co-heirs, equal heirs with Christ Jesus, your son. We exalt your name. The Bible says he has caused us to be seated with him in the heavenly places. Can we appreciate the Lord for that? Thank you for our divine positioning with you. Thank you because we are seated together with you in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. And so where Christ is, we are. Lord, where Christ is, we are. Where Christ rules, we rule. Lord, we say thank you for this honor and this privilege in the name of Jesus. For the joy of a new year, let's give thanks unto the Lord. Father, once again, we're giving you thanks for the joy of a new year. For the joy of 2024, Father, we say thank you. For the good mind of the Lord concerning us in 2024, can we exalt the name of the Lord? Father, we have come to exalt your name for your good hands concerning us in 2024. Lord, we didn't get here by our own strength. We didn't get here by our own might or power. You brought us here for a purpose. We are grateful because you've 
hi highlighted and you've outlined that purpose concerning us in 2024. Blessed be your holy name in the name of Jesus. Can we appreciate the Lord because we are in his plan for this year. Lord, thank you for including us in your plan for the journey of 2024. We are in your plan for this year and we're glad and we rejoice and we give you praise for that in the name of Jesus. Can we receive the help of the Lord for the journey of this year? Father, we receive your help for the journey of this year. Some trust in horses, some trust in chariots, but we will call upon the name of the Lord our God. We receive your help for the journey of this year in the name of Jesus. Can we receive the wisdom of God for the journey of this year? Lord, without wisdom, we can do nothing. Your wisdom is our strength. We ask for your wisdom, oh God, for your word says that wisdom is a key thing, is a principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all that, get to get understanding. We ask for your wisdom to schedule our seasons, your wisdom to order our thoughts, your wisdom to order our lives, your wisdom for the journey of this year in the name of Jesus. Can we redeem every day of this year from evil, from danger, from disaster, from every walk of a devil. We redeem every day of 2024 from disaster, from evil, from affliction, from pestilence, from calamity, from anything that the devil has to offer. We redeem every day of this year from such by the blood of Jesus, by the power and the resurrection of Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ. Can we release the blessing of the Lord upon every day of this year? We release the blessing, the blessing of the Most High God upon every day of this year, the force of a blessing, the power of a blessing. We speak upon every moment, every season, every second of this year, in the name of Jesus. Can we receive grace to walk with the Lord this year, that we shall walk with the Lord this year. Lord, we receive grace to walk with you this year, in the name of Jesus. Help us to walk with you this year in the name of Jesus. Let's ask the Lord to help us to keep pace with him. That every pace we see him take will be the pace we'll take. Every step we'll see him take will be the steps we'll take. Lord, this year help us to keep pace with you, O God, that your steps will be our steps. That your pathways, O God, will be our pathways. That your footprints, your footprints will be our footprints as well. That will place our feet where your feet have gone. In the name of Jesus, help us not to derail, O God. Help us to follow after your will and your purpose continually. In the name of Jesus, come receive grace to understand the divine will and purpose of God part time for every season of this year. We receive grace to understand and to walk in your divine will and your purpose. We receive understanding and insight into your divine will and purpose for the journey of this year in the name of Jesus. The Bible says Noah walked with God. He was a just and perfect man in his generations. He found grace in the sight of God. Can we receive grace even to walk with the Lord, to find grace in his sight in the name of Jesus. Help us Lord to walk worthy of your own place in this year that our lives will bring you pleasure, that our lives will bring you glory, that our lives will not bring you shame or, or disgrace or reproach in the name of Jesus Christ. Let our ways be pleasing unto you, O God, in the name of Jesus. When we walk with the Lord, we walk in power, we walk in authority, we walk in dominion. Come with receive grace to walk in power, to walk in authority, to walk in dominion every day of this year. Lord, every day of this year, every day of this week, every day of this month, we receive grace to walk in power, to walk in your authority, to walk in your dominion in the name of Jesus. Christ will not take a step outside your will, will not take a step that is out of turn with your purpose and counsel in the name of Jesus. When we walk with the Lord, we are secure, we are preserved. Receive grace unto preservation. We receive grace unto preservation. We receive grace unto security as we walk with you this year in the name of Jesus. When we walk with the Lord, we walk in blessed places. We walk into prepared places. Can we receive grace to enter into blessed places, to enter into prepared places in the name of Jesus? We receive grace. To, to, to press into prepared places. Lord God, prosperous places, places of rest, places of wellness, places of abundance. In the name of Jesus Christ, ask him to lead us onto the waters of quietness, onto the waters of rest and peace. Even this year, Lord, lead us. Lord, this month, this month, this week, this year, lead us onto the waters of quietness, waters of peace, waters of satisfaction and fulfillment. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, receive grace to experience new beginnings, new beginnings in all that you do, in all of your concerns, in all of your pursuits, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, the old has gone and we shut the door to the old. As we walk with you, let new vistas open up unto us, new opportunities, new prospects, oh God, will receive in the name of Jesus Christ, new experiences by day, new experiences by night uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. And let's ask for the power of revelation to be, to be released upon our lives uh, as we walk with the Lord. Uh, help us, oh God, as we walk with you to walk in revelation, to walk in revelation knowledge, 
to walk in revelation victory in the name of jesus believe a lot that the glory of the lord will open up afresh uh, even unto us in dimensions unprecedented as we walk with the lord uh, even this week uh, and this month and this year we we'll receive grace oh god for your glory to be revealed uh, even unto us your shakan uh, lord to be revealed unto us uh, in dimensions unknown in dimensions unprecedented even this year in our jobs uh, in our careers uh, in our ministries in our pursuits uh, in our day-to-day -day activities uh, in the name of jesus christ trust the lord for visitation after visitation as we walk with him this month and this week and this year lord let there be visitation after visitation let there be encounter after encounter experience after experience in the name of jesus christ let the covenant be prominent concerning our lives even this week even this month and even this year the glory and the honor remain yours help us to walk with you continually in jesus name we pray amen so have a blessed week and keep walking with the Lord. See you next Monday. Till then, bye-bye.